I made this perfect dress and then put some twists to create three different looks. It takes about three hours to finish from scratch. This dress is super beginner friendly with a simple style, an easy to use fabric and no zipper. You can use a rhinestone strap for the graduation dress or a casual fabric strap to make a hangout with friends dress or remove the strap to make a night date dress. This is all you need to make this dress. The jersey fabric is extremely soft, does not wrinkle, and stretches to embrace the body. First of all, we need to print the pattern. After downloading the file, open the pattern with a PDF reader and then print it at the actual size. Remember to print the first page only to check accuracy. This is the first page. Make sure this logo here measures at 2 by 2 inches. If everything is okay, you can print the whole package. After that, you can lay out all the pages in the correct order. The papers are all marked with a letter and a number. When it's all in the correct order, you just need to attach the pages together. No trimming needed. I find out I don't have the footage for this step, but just place left side margins over right side margins, overlapping dashed lines and dots. In the same fashion, top margins will overlap bottom margins. And cut it. The pattern looks like this after you are done cutting. Next, place the pattern on the stretch fabric. Then, attach the pattern piece to your fabric using whatever you have. The pattern already includes seam allowance, so you just need to cut the fabric around the pattern. We will get three pieces like this. I use a serger to create seam finishes. But if your sewing machine has overlocking capabilities that would work too. If you don't have one, follow the video in the description to finish your seams more professionally. First, we will make the strap. Right sides together, fold the strap lengthwise and sew together to create a tube. Then turn right side out. Then with the dress pieces right sides together, serge the shoulder pieces together. I use bias tape for finishing raw edges at the neckline and armhole. You can make this at home or buy pre-made bias tape at Amazon or any sewing store. This is my trick to apply bias tape. It's super easy. You will be surprised by the result. Find the markings on the front and back dress pieces for the shoulder strap, then pin the strap on top of the hemband. The strap seam should be facing the wearer's right. Sew everything together. You can also replace the fabric strap with the rhinestone strap. Next, sew the front and back dress pieces together at the sides, right sides together. On the wearer's left side, stop at the top of the slit to leave it open. For the slit, fold once and sew a 3 quarters inch hem. Finally, sew the bottom hem. Fold once and sew a 3 quarters inch hem. And that's it. Here's the result. 